thrifting we're gonna hit up a bunch of spots today because that's what we do but here's our outfits of the day oh and also Sophia asked me to style her so outfit by Taylor made style <laughs> styled by Taylor made style <laughs> so this here's is my outfit nice everything's thrifted but my boots which are Everlane and Sophia let me wear her beanie this is a scarf I crocheted this is a little flannel that my grandma thrifted for me. And my ducks. So that's our outfits. OOTD. Now we're gonna go get Starbucks and take you guys along on a really long day of thrifting. Dude, this is massive. This is like the biggest savers I've ever been to, I think. It's huge. Sophia's for savers. So I think we're actually gonna start in the home stuff, kind of just in the home decor mood. Sophia is working on updating her room right now, so we're gonna help her try to find some stuff for that. Okay, funny story, but I thrifted this exact class in a water class, so like a tall one, before Derek and I ever got engaged, and these like are the matching ones. But I think you might kill me if I bring these home, to be honest, because we just have so many. I am looking for like a good coupe glass though. I also love these. These are the same glasses that Sophia currently has. <laughs> she has those. From my great I like those too, those are fun. Yeah, those are cool. This is exactly what I was looking for, a coupe glass, and they have a set of four. They have a really pretty etched design on them, and they're only $4.50 for the set. So something I want to attempt this year is to maybe sew my own clothes. I'm not an expert sewer, but I do know how to use a sewing machine and I have one. And so I've been looking for thrifted fabric to use for these projects because it's inexpensive, it's a sustainable way to make clothes. And I just found this kind of like seersucker gingham. It's only $3. I really love the texture of it. And I think it could make like a cute top. I don't know if it's enough to make a dress, but I could possibly try to make a dress out of it. And I don't know, maybe I need to like do a YouTube video where I like struggle my way through making my first piece of clothing with you guys. That could be a, that could be a good idea. I also found this like quilted square, which is kind of random, but I feel like I want to make this into something like a patchwork on a shirt or jeans or something. So I'm definitely gonna upcycle this as well. I think it's like a fun fabric and it's only $2. Before we continue on with my birthday thrifting extravaganza, I want to introduce today's video sponsor, which is Klarna. Klarna is a completely free and amazing Google Chrome extension and mobile app that allows you to get coupons and cash back at checkout at over 250,000 online stores. Because it's my birthday this month, I really wanted to treat myself and decided that this year I'm going to buy myself some sort of designer handbag from Etsy. So I've been doing lots of searching for the perfect birthday gift to myself. And Klarna makes it super easy at checkout. Not only can you apply coupons that they have available so you know you're getting the best price, but they also offer a bunch of different payment options. So you can pay in four installations. I can also pay in 30 days. So if I get the bag and I don't love it, then I can send it back and I will have nothing taken out of my own bank account. And they also offer monthly financing. Their mobile app has come in super handy in all of my sifting through different pieces that I wanna buy. They you can set up notifications for saved items. You can track all of your purchases or potential purchases, and you can pay and for it directly from the app. You can also browse exclusive deals and earn rewards for every purchase you make on the Klarna app. So if you wanna use Klarna on your next online shopping purchase, you can go to the link in my description box below or klarna.com slash tailormade style to download to your desktop or a mobile device. I also found this like pistachio green tablecloth. 
kind of like a linen material, 100% cotton. It has this window pane design. It's like a big solid piece of fabric. So I feel like I could possibly make a dress out of this. You guys know I love a wavy mirror moment. This one is so cool, but I honestly, I don't need another one because I already have the one I haven't even put up in my new office, but I thought this was really cool. Sophia was too distracted to make a cameo, but we went over to the shoes. Oh, those are cute. Those are your size? These are my size. Those are nice. Throw them in the cart. Anyways, we're in the shoes. Already got distracted because we found vests and I found two vests. This one is suede. So cool. This one is from the 70s. The brand is literally called Knit 70s. <laughs> and I just think this could be so cool if you like layer it over, I don't know, maybe like a turtleneck, like a brown turtleneck, and then you belt it and do it with like a knit like kick flare pant or something. I don't know. I think it could be really cool. We're gonna get back on track now and go look at the shoes. I just found this pair of clogs for Sophia. They have like a wooden heel. I didn't find any shoes, but they have a ton of hats and scarves and stuff over here. So I'm gonna look through these. The children's beret, I don't know. It's kind of cute though. I think this was meant for a child or I don't know, maybe it's meant to wear on the back of your head, but this is a no. I love this, but I know it'd be so scratchy on my head. Oh wait, a balaclava. This one's like a full on ski mask though, so I don't really know. <laughs> I'm gonna look like I'm gonna go rob someplace, but. <laughs> I'm gonna go scare Sophia in this. Stick him up. Ouch. <laughs> It's not like exactly the vibe we were going for. I think that's more of a ski mask or something. So the balaclava might not have worked, but I found leg warmers and leg warmers apparently have been coming back in fashion. So I'm gonna try them. They're only $4. And I feel like they're just like a good black basic pair. I think these will be really cute to wear to Pilates. I am triggered by these toe socks. We're in the pants now, and our goal is to find Sophia some neutral pants, but of course I already just found something for myself. Sorry, Sophia. But um, <laughs> I found these like vintage Lee casual pants, they're like a super high waist, but they have like a wider leg in this burgundy color. So I think I'm gonna try these out. <laughs> like a long time oh ago. Oh my god. I love that. They have a ton of vintage skirts. I'm just trying to be like selective. Like this one's super cute. I just love a 90s skirt moment. Like this is how I'm picturing styling this. With like a cropped button down cardigan that's like yeah. tight. And then maybe my docks. That's what fine. is happening here? Ooh. Oh. Somebody. <laughs> um, a DIY situation. Yeah. A DI don't. Look at this amber buyer. A little satin. I feel like I could do something really sassy with this. A little 90s a buyer moment. Oh my gosh. Dude, I know I said that too. <laughs> if anyone can style that, I could style it, but like, should I? <laughs> I usually don't go for like teddy coats, but I really like. The style of this one, it's like kind of cropped. And I like the pocket situation. Ooh, and it comes with free birds bees in the pocket. Oh Look at this trench that Sophia found. <laughs> I don't think I could fit in this, but look at this set. And the top part like clasps into this skirt and then it has like a little vest over it 
somebody was rocking this on Christmas. We're wearing the men's jeans because Sophia and I love the men's jeans. I feel like I find way better stuff here than in the women's. And I just found these Light Wash Levi 560. They're in my size. They have a lot of distressing, so I'm gonna have to patch up the crotch area. But um, I really like these and I hope they fit. They're supposed to be a loose fit with a tapered leg. So we're gonna give them a shot. We're over in the tops now and my camera's starting to die. So I'm just gonna show you things as I find them. But look at this like stretchy button down I found. And it has like these sheer panels in there. I like it. We've been here for like a few hours, so we're finally gonna go through our cart and then head to our next stop. Okay, this is what Sophia's taking home. We just tried everything on and weeded out a lot of stuff. All right, so I'm getting these two basic thermals mm -hmm. so that I can wear some of these instead of turtlenecks every day. Getting this little beanie, and then I'm getting this. I'm getting these leg warmers, the 90s skirt. 90s mini corduroy skirt. This white button down that's like stretchy. Levi's light wash jeans. And then I'm also getting the two pieces of fabric so I can hopefully sew something. And then a set of the four coupe glasses and the patchwork piece that I can put on something. So we just had lunch. We got Chipotle. It was really good. I feel very refreshed after a Diet Coke. Diet That's Coke my guilty was the best pleasure. Part. Yeah, that was the best part of our day was the Diet Coke. <laughs> so now we're at a Goodwill. We were walking by the window and I was like, wait, I see a sweater. And look at this sweater I just sorry. No, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, look at the sweater. Isn't it so cute though? I'm stoked on this. I said it looks just like the punch needle flowers yeah. that people are making on TikTok and like hanging on the wall and yeah. using as coasters. Yeah, this is a uh, this is probably like a find of the day, honestly. Uh, yeah, it's so I cute. Agree. Sophia just found me these leather boots. They're seven dollars. I love the heel, the color, the square toe. So I'm gonna get these. They fit perfectly and they're in really good condition. My camera card is full, so I've now switched over to using my phone and I don't have the hookup for my phone to go on my cart. So we're just freehanding it. But Sophia's found a bunch of stuff. I'm gonna show you. So I found this really cool black dress. Tell them you said it's designer. Yeah, it's from Bagley Mishka. I don't know this brand, Bell Bagley Mishka, or that's like an off brand for them, but it was originally $180. And, and like $12. $12. Here. Look how classy this is. It has kind of like the this little like flutter cap sleeve. This dress is gonna look expensive as hell. <laughs> yeah, that's really cute. It's found this dress that I was gonna try to style like 90s with some tights and docks probably. Yeah. And then this like sheer neutrals top, probably be like a little tuck with, and another basic thermal. And now we're gonna go look in the men's and jackets. I just found this silk quilted bomber jacket and it has this velvet collar. I like that it's cropped and it has pockets, but I just like don't know. I feel like I already have a couple of these. So I don't know, maybe I'll like try it on in the mirror and see how I like it. It's a really good deal for $5. I'm just gonna toss in my cart, why not? And then I also spotted this green jacket, which is really cool. It's like wool. It does have a hood, but I don't feel like I would get enough wear out of that one. So here it is on. Sophia is telling me that I need this. I feel like the crop is so good. Like it even looks good just with this outfit as a third layer. Do I need it for $5? Yes! So final haul of everything I'm getting. The orange flower sweater. These boots. Sophia found for me. And then the silk jacket. So I ended with this orange sweater thermal and then the black dress.
she's getting the back dress. It looks so good on her. So that's our final haul here. It was a smaller stop, but we found good things. So we are back from the thrift store and I have a couple pieces that I picked up for my birthday thrifting extravaganza. I just feel like I have to do this every year. It's now my little birthday tradition and I get to take you guys along, which is even better because I get to spend part of my birthday with you guys, which is honestly a highlight for me throughout my entire year is just getting to talk to you guys on this YouTube channel and bring you along on my life. So thank you for spending part of my birthday with me. I found a ton of good things along with Sophia and so I'm going to style them up for you guys as I normally do. I definitely found some really good basics, some really good funky pieces, so I'm excited to jump in and show you guys everything styled up. First actually is the skirt, which I was wearing on the bottom. I just took it off to show you guys and it's a 90s, I think rayon kind of maxi skirt. It's black with these red flowers all over it. And I find these skirts all the time at the thrift store and I usually pass on them, but the red moody flowers just spoke to me and I immediately knew I kind of wanted to do like a 90s, I don't know, like grunge-ish style with this. Like grunge feminine is how I would describe it. I immediately was like, I need to find some sort of red cardigan. And actually yesterday when I was thrifting with Sophia and my other friend, I found this red cardigan. It's cashmere and it matches the color of the skirt perfectly. And it was like exactly what I was picturing with like this whole makeup look and my docks. So I just think this is going to be a fun skirt to also take into the spring and style it with maybe just a plain white cropped tee. So I'm excited to see how many ways I can style this in this next year of being 28. At that same Savers, I found another little 90s skirt, very much so different. It is a mini brown corduroy skirt, originally from Limited, and I love the style of skirt right now. It's kind of just like a simple A-line, but I just think it looks so flattering. I think it's like a fun layering piece. Earth tones are really popular right now, and I don't know, I just really, really like corduroy too and this style of skirt. So whenever I happen upon a 90s sort of mini A-line, I always snag it if it's in a good material like this one. I just feel like this is a really classic style. So I'm glad I picked it up. I think it was around $5 or so. I ended up taking the tags off most of these pieces, but um, yeah, I think it was a good deal for five bucks. And here are the leg warmers I picked up. These were kind of a controversial piece. I put them on a thrifter pass on my Instagram story and most people said pass, but I had a vision for them. I think that these could come off very like 2010 if you don't style them in the right way, but I've worn them actually so many times this week and not only do I feel like they are super practical for very cold weathers because my ankles always get so cold. But I also think they can be super cute with like a workout outfit. I've worn them with leggings and I went to a Pilates class and I thought it just looked really cute in my little Pilates outfit. And then I ended up wearing that same outfit to a bar and everybody was like complimenting them. And then I styled them up too with that brown skirt I said with some tights and that's kind of my like fashionista inspiration with these. I want to know what you guys think of the leg warmer trend i think it's really cute and i am like here for a trend that's coming back around i think these were only like two dollars so even if it's something that you're not necessarily certain if you're gonna like the thrift store is always a good place to try out a trend and do it really inexpensive and then if you don't like it you know you can always redonate it so this savers had a ton of really good denim i will definitely be crossing the missouri illinois border to go back to the savers because they had a lot of really good stuff i picked up one pair of jeans and they were these levi's light wash 560 I've never tried this fit before, but someone did tell me on Instagram that it's good for like a curvier uh, body. And so I think that's why I like them so much. And um, I love just how worn in they are. They definitely will need a little bit of like patching up, but that's no problem. You can just get like a little iron on patch. But I thought for, you know, $8, it was a good deal for like a really good worn in pair of Levi's and a really nice like fit wash. And I just thought they were like a good addition to my denim collection. 
And the last piece I picked up at the Savers was this really fun stretchy button down. It's striped and kind of sheer and it has this really nice texture to it. I just really like like how stretchy it is and the super pointed collar, the really long sleeves. It's definitely a really 90s sort of fit. It's definitely probably not a super like wintry item right now but I think come spring this is going to look really really cute as like a transitional piece and I could definitely see styling over like a bright blazer maybe as we transition into warmer weather. So I just think this is going to be a fun piece to kind of style up once it gets a little warmer outside. And on our last stop, we went to a Goodwill that was super close to the Sabres. And I found a pair of brown boots. I love the color of these and I love also that they're not a super tall heel. I just feel like I'm not wearing like these three inch heels right now and this is like an everyday boot that I would actually get a lot of wear out of so the color is just this really nice cognac I feel like they're nice and worn in but still look in really good condition and they were only seven dollars I'm here for a comfy shoe moment and I think these are just going to be a really good staple that I'll probably wear for years you guys know I love a quilted jacket moment and I have a couple in my collection now so I really try to be super picky and limited if I find one at a thrift store but I found this one and I just couldn't pass it up Sophia really convinced me that it was like the perfect fit on me so it's this silk kind of beige bomber and has a velvet collar. What really sold me was the cropped fit of it. It's just the perfect like length on my body. The pockets are still sewn up, so I'm not even sure if the previous owner ever really wore this. So I'm excited to add this one. I think it's just going to be a really good throw on. So yeah, I just couldn't pass this one up. And the last piece I picked up, I spotted from outside of the Goodwill and I was like, I'm going for that piece. And I walked in and it was just as good as I thought it was from the outside. This orange floral sweater, it's from the brand Shein, which I don't shop Shein firsthand. And most of the Shein stuff I see in thrift stores is like super shitty quality i would not even pay five dollars for it but this one actually feels like pretty nice it didn't seem like something that was from shein and i just loved the fun funky pattern of it and it's gonna go nicely into the spring as well so a good transitional item so i just had to have it so that is it for my big 28th birthday thrifting extravaganza thank you guys so much for coming along with me and sophia we had so much fun and i cannot wait till we get to do it again for the big 2-9 next year. If you like this video, you can like, comment, subscribe. I post videos every Sunday, so I'd love to see you back around here for more thriftiness. You can also follow me over on Instagram at Style, where I style up all my thrift finds, and I will see you guys next week. Bye!